Now I show you how to change it. Just push the button. <gasps> and the skin changed. We are using gesture in order to move. And as an Italian, you know, we speak with the gesture. So I'm teleporting uh, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Clear Direct. I am so excited. Today's the day we're gonna to get to start designing the livery, the paint scheme of my Rans S21 bush plane with an Italian design firm via virtual reality. So I've got a call set up with Mirko and the Aircraft Design Studios in Modena, Italy. So let's get this going. Ciao Mirko, I'm Steve. Hey Steve, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. How's the weather in Modena? What time is it, by the way? Oh, time, it's uh, almost 6 p.m. By the way, I'm, I'm on, uh, I am uh, one of your followers, so it's a honor to have you here. <laughs> well, I follow your work too. Thank you. This is great. This is fan. I'm so excited. I'm a big fan of your work. This collaboration is just going to be amazing. So thank you for... Uh, for agreeing to, to do this. So you probably know I'm building a, a Rans S21, an all yeah, aluminum, yeah, exactly. your pat, you, thank you. And and well, it, it's it's a blank pallet that's out in my garage. And um, yeah. and uh, I'm so excited to get the wings on and then eventually get it painted and uh, and in in a, in a Mirko special. So so with that, if you could just give us a quick background of the, your company so that all, all the other people know who you Absolutely. are. and Absolutely. Um, well, wait, you say Rans at 20. I thought uh, you called me for the F15 paint scheme. Well, that's next. That's 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 <laughs> later on. <laughs> what what a beautiful plane. Yeah, see Mirko does fighters too, so he'll I'm sure yeah, he'll show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, let me share the screen and uh, and I show you uh, a couple of uh, things and then uh, maybe I can give you a little tour of the the company. So, we uh, we have a big portfolio of uh, paint scheme and uh, aircraft design because uh, uh, we do also aircraft design in terms of uh, style and ergonomy and uh, aerodynamics and everything so uh, but of course it's much easier to be hired for one scheme compared to a complete uh, plane so you can see here we do a lot of uh, uh, you know sport plane uh, kit planes uh, uh, and then uh, bigger planes uh, like uh, air show machine like uh, pit special and uh, a lot of uh, Pitts Model 12 in collaboration with uh, uh, Kevin Kimball and, and Jim Kimball Enterprise. And we, are, we did the uh, MX-2. We did uh, a lot of planes, including the, 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 the Yaks and Sukhoi and blah, blah, blah. We work for uh, also Red Bull I races. So we do uh, paint scheme design and flying suit and helmet and the uh, hangar design and everything that uh, sport or racing pilot needs and we are official partner of uh, extra extra aerobatic planes in germany they build uh, a full uh, uh, range of aerobatic planes from the single seater to you know a certified uh, uh, tandem two seater and uh, being an official partner of course we do a lot of crazy scheme for the customer so for example you can see here from a very special uh, crazy scheme you know in a dragon and uh, and uh, dragon theme and the same plane that could be like uh, in a car racing the style like uh, like this one you know so uh, we are official partner of extra and in this case uh, we do a lot of uh, scheme for uh, uh, this plane and uh, I, I show you a couple of uh, very a complex and crazy paint scheme like this one with a lot of flames and uh, a sharp mouth, uh, you know, <laughs> or could be something uh, like uh, uh, like a racing car. This one, it's uh, it it comes very very well, and uh, in the sky it pops out uh, all the colors uh, pops out uh, very well, or uh, like a crazy dragon. Look at the customer. 
it's very happy, you know, and he bought the, the pair of shoes in the same color of the, <laughs> of the plane. <laughs> Just to match. <laughs> I like it. Laker, L Los Angeles Lakers color is my favorite basketball team. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so we work uh, with uh, a lot of uh, air show performers and uh, we do a lot of scheme for, uh, co uh, you know, competitors, uh, unlimited uh, and, you know, uh, you name it. And, uh, and then um, this is, of course, a uh, aerobatic plane. It's very, very common to have, for the aerobatic plane, it's very common to have a, a custom plane scheme. So uh, we, we are uh, specialized in this, but not only, uh, but, uh, not, not only for this kind of uh, plane, but also let me scroll down very quickly, to, uh, or, or even, even for a general aviation uh, plane. This is a, a scheme that we made uh, uh, with a crazy color, but the customer is it's, it's super, super happy, you know, like uh, using the orange and green together, or uh, this one with feature on, also on the a PC-12, uh, the, the, the map of the place where uh, they live, you know, so sure. it, it's a kind of like uh, highly customized. And then uh, uh, racing, uh, racing aircraft. This one is an Nemesis NXT that uh, Rolls Royce, uh, just uh, power it with the electric engine uh, to break the record uh, for electric uh... oh you, you did that yes. Oh, yes oh wow yeah that's so cool oh and then uh, we did the original nemesis which now it's in the smithsonian uh, museum so it's, it's it's kind of very cool to have uh, this uh, scheme made by us uh, uh, underneath the you know the 707 uh, prototype uh, at the smithsonian you know it's kind of like cool you know and uh, and so on you know and and then you can see here a lot of uh, plane very similar to your uh, uh, bush plane like uh, you know this uh, high wing uh, this is a carbon cab in uh, camouflage uh, Ooh, I like that. yeah it's a mix of camouflage and sport uh, scheme you know so you can still see the lightning of the the classic uh, uh, yeah. cab but also the, the the camouflage things and then uh, a lot of uh, RVs because they are very popular all around the world, uh, including some uh, crazy scheme for, uh, for example, uh, a st pink steerman for these uh, wing walkers uh, uh, friends, you know. <laughs> oh, neat. I have not seen that. That's great. Yeah, this is uh, in, in uh, Switzerland right now. And then, uh, of course, uh, a lot of uh, uh, private jet uh, for, uh, you know, big guys you know with in this case for example this uh, global uh, 7 uh, 7500 it's uh, we, we created the subsonic uh, a wave uh, underneath and this is the the the, the 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 basically what the subsonic wave uh, design on the plane itself you know so yeah very enormous. now i thought i saw the stratus is that yeah, the yeah yeah that's a that's a local jet yeah it's it's local. That's from uh, from Redmond, Oregon. Here, just north of uh, just north of Bend, and I saw those guys out at Oshkosh, and uh, I hadn't yeah. realized that you didn't done the, the design. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, we were in Oshkosh here to 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 deliver the scheme, uh, the officer oh. scheme, and this is the the two uh, the two yeah. models. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, just taxied by him last week up uh, up at Redmond. Is, oh. They're they're still in uh, flight test, but yeah, it's beautiful jet, yeah, beautiful yeah, design yeah. Uh, livery too. And then we do, we did a lot of uh, also jets and uh, I'm proud because of course uh, we have uh, our uh, national team, uh, which is the Frecce Tricolori, it's your uh, Thunderbirds or Blue Angels, you know. So for the, for the 60th anniversary, uh, I, uh, we came out with the, the commander for these things. So they used in the past a different plane with a different, uh, with a different uh, uh, aerobatic team. So in order to honor the past uh, teams, uh, we came out with this idea to put uh, 10 different scheme on uh, on the tail. So basically we had the 10 different scheme and also the helmet, uh, you know, for the our uh, Frecce Tricolori Tricolor aerobatic team. And it, it came out very, very cool, you know, all the different yeah, this was something very cool. And I just presented a tornado, by the way, speaking about fighters, 
this is a, a European uh, uh, fighter and uh, they had the two uh, two logo one uh, with the, this uh, cicada that uh, sing a song and uh, a Donald Duck coming out uh, of the because they have two two different animals so we decided to do this uh, guy you know very hungry you know red face the structural ribs and stringers behind it to really sell exactly. the that's so we, great we, we did the reproduction of the exactly the you know the the, the strings and everything inside and by the way we use a, a silver uh, vinyl so it looks like a real metal you know coming out so oh, we could you could do vinyl too yeah that makes sense we can do vinyl and by the way even the frezzi tricolore the one that i show you before it's completely vinyl and uh, with the, you can print uh, and uh, do whatever, basically whatever you want uh, on the, I show you very quickly here, uh, and you can install uh, with, the, uh, with the vinyl on, on, uh, on a very, very complex uh, surfaces, including, you know, screw rivets uh, and the little doors and everything. And you can just, uh, yeah, do it with the vinyl. So this is another, very good way to do a very complex uh, scheme uh, and just apply a foil basically you know so yeah. it's it's a very very good uh, uh, option and then we did the uh, gliders uh, and uh, robotic teams uh, and here you can see when i told you we design also aircraft uh, it was an honor for me to work uh, with the, uh, this uh, company uh, extra aircraft uh, directly with the uh, Walter and uh, the company engineer to do basically the style uh, of the of the plane. So this is my first baby, you know. We start with yeah. the concept uh, sketch and then uh, you know t test uh, the 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 ergonomics uh, and everything. So and this is the extra NG and helicopters and uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, boats, uh, by the way. Boats, okay. But but you uh, obviously you specialize in, in aircraft, and you mean the the name of your company is Aircraft Design Studio. So, it, it are you primarily interested? in what got you into into aviation? Well, uh, I am based in Modena or Modena, as you say, uh, which is uh, the home uh, hometown of uh, Ferrari, Maserati, or these uh, sport cars. So, uh, and uh, I studied in the Ferrari school. I met Mr. Enzo Ferrari back in the 79. And uh, so you say, why you don't do the car, you know? Actually, my passion was aircraft. So I'm sorry, but uh, I cannot uh, help myself, you know? So I decided to design aircraft. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, you know? So, yeah. uh, hey, what about if I give you a quick tour of the studio so you can see the, the complete, uh, the, the complete uh, things uh, and then maybe we can talk about a very very cool uh, uh, features that I wanted to offer to you in order to study your paint scheme but not only to study but show you paint scheme so okay let's do it so here I am so this is a, this is a quick tour of the studio okay here is where I study uh, everything I use uh, I use a, a Mac computer. Oh, I love and that the, display. Yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> I use also this uh, uh, this uh, you know table that you can uh, draw directly here as a concept design, and then uh, we have uh, here all our little toys. You know, a lot of memorabilia. You know, including the glider made with the feathers and everything. <laughs> and this is. Uh, this is basically our studio. We have a little cafeteria here because, of course, uh, as uh, Italian, we cannot, uh, you know, uh, read about, about a good espresso coffee. And then uh, we have this uh, grass here, which is fake, of course. But here, the, this place is uh, where we use uh, the uh, virtual reality goggles, and I will show, show you uh, later on. Oh, a safe, a safe virtual reality space. I see. Correct, exactly. <laughs> so we can just, uh, you know, just don't hit uh, things, you know. So <laughs> uh, this is our color base. So base, so we can uh, pick the color. We have all the test, uh, the leather and everything. This is Monica. Monica is in charge of uh, all the money and the contract. <laughs> this is uh, Simone. He's, uh, he's in, uh, in charge of uh, this uh, virtual reality 
uh, you know, software development. And then we have Federica. She is in charge now of filming me for your uh, for your video. But uh, she is in charge of uh, beautiful rendering and everything. Because when we present uh, to our customer, the, the the rendering is not only a sketch, but uh, it's the full. Uh, this is a rendering. Is not. Uh, in fact, you can see inside there is no pilot, you know. Okay, so, photorealistic rendering, <laughs> though. Yeah. Yeah, very, very. Because you have to see your plane in the right environment, so we will not put uh, an extra on a big runway like uh, a little jet, you know. And then uh, I want to show you the other part of the studio, which is uh, where we study the, the plane itself and not only uh, the color. So basically, it starts from uh, a sketch, you know and then uh, you do modeling and then you do what what i show you right now so here in the, the next uh, here we have uh, what we call a custom lab this is marco and guillermo uh, they are working on some secret for our project we cannot uh, show you <laughs> oh come on you can show us <laughs> i won't tell anybody <laughs> Yeah, and basically you see this is uh, how we present uh, the concept design for the plane to the customer and then, then we do the 3D modeling and then we do also we, then we do also uh, ergonomics, you know, so basically you are here and you test, uh, uh, she, she's testing if, uh, if the seats are good, you know, so. <laughs> and uh, here we have, we have the, another is another mock-up for the tandem and then uh, in this way we can just study where to put the the, the, the stick and the pedal and everything you know, wait 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 I, I, because when I thought you only did um liveries and paint schemes you're actually doing aircraft design huh correct uh, correct and uh, this is my little workshop yeah and uh, as i told you before Basically, you go to a company, a company call, uh, if a company call you and you can say, okay, this is the, my vision of a brand new plane. And then, of course, you have to follow the, their restriction. And then uh, working with the engineer, you came out with the idea and uh, you, you, you did it. So I did uh, seven aircraft so far, plus a lot of uh, uh, small radio control aircraft because we work with the Horizon Hobby in the United States and the Spectrum, we do also design for radio control. Uh, the the, yeah. the modules, yeah. yes. I, in fact, I own one, a Spectrum from Horizon Hobby. You see here we are working on some uh, things on four wheels, so... <laughs> this is more or less the tour. Uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, we do aircraft design in terms of uh, style. We do also uh, industrial design uh, we did, uh, for example, uh, actually I can show you very quickly. We did uh, a stereo system made out of a Formula One exhaust. So you can listen the, the music and you can listen also the vroom vroom of the, of the car. This is made with uh, an aircraft exhaust. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's something for collectors, you know. We did it for Lamborghini. You call Lamborghini, but the, the real name is Lamborghini. We, we did the, the stereo, the design for this uh, stereo system made out of a piece of cars, you know, parts of car and etc. So it's, it's, but let, yeah, and we did a lot of, uh, of this uh, exhaust uh, uh, stereo system and RC model, Spectrum radio. I, you told, you, you tell, uh, I tell you, we I've got that the, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the the one without the screen, the simple one. That's that's the one I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, okay. It's time to buy the. <laughs> yeah. No, it's time. It's time to finish my real airplane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, beautiful. That's a beautiful studio. There's a beautiful piece of art that I really liked with like the ribs or just the cross sections. We did it and we sell it. So it's a they call we call a sliced plane. And uh, I show you immediately. And we have, uh, in this case, it's a Spitfire. Oh, that is so beautiful. I show you this one because this one uh, feature also empty ribs, so you can see also through, you know. Oh wow! And we have uh, the we did the, the Spitfire, the P51, and uh, we are doing the SR71 in on top view, which is 
a piece of art itself because yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. that is gorgeous wow beautiful yeah. thank you yeah you're welcome well you've got the uh, you've got the eye and the artistic abilities let's do this <laughs> let's do this wow yeah. What about uh, if I show you how we present? We will present you the the scheme because the most important thing for a scheme is not only the color or the shape, but but is the the proportion and the way how you see the plane. So when you see a plane on a piece of paper, it's very hard to imagine it uh, on the ground uh, in front of you. So um, it, 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 from we started to, to develop this uh, virtual reality uh, software. So we did the, uh, our airport, which is basically based on uh, an average middle airport uh, in the middle of the United States. By the way, United States, it's my second homeland. I love your country a lot. And yeah. Well, I love Italy as well, so. Yeah, we will we will meet uh, we will meet at Oscar show this year. So that or uh, maybe I'll come out to Modena. <laughs> you are more than welcome to come here. So uh, yeah, but with, with this virtual reality goggle, it's very easy and uh, and convenient because uh, you will be in the front of your plane and you can use it. Uh, it's like a three hundred bucks. Uh, you know, goggle. You know, you can use it. The Oculus. You can use the ATC or other brand. No big, no big deal. And uh, the cool thing is, we can have a, a conversation like we are uh, doing right now into this airport uh, live. So you can you can see my avatar, which is a black uh, sphere and a, and a pair of uh, hands. And but you can we can we can communicate and we can uh, teleport or walk around the plane and you can change the scheme with your gesture. So you will perceive the you, you will see your plane uh, in front of you and uh, you will you can judge uh, the let, let's say the the, the the scale you know uh, uh, of the plane uh, uh, because normally when you, when somebody presents you the scheme is just on a PDF or on a sketch but it's very rare to see the plane in this uh, perspective if you fly in information, okay, but not in front of you, you know. So this is why we care about the realistic rendering and the virtual reality. Uh, and it's it's basically uh, into our basic offer. We offer also the virtual reality experience. So why don't, why, what about to try it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm, are you sure you're not 25 years old? Because I think you've got the mind, you've got the technological ability of a, of, of, People, you know, half my age at least. <laughs> Actually, I have uh, I have uh, people here. They are very smart and young, so I take all the f the full advantage to you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get going. Hey, welcome in our airport. Uh, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Are we? Am I in Italy? Uh, well, actually, no, we are, I don't know where, uh, let's say, oh, okay. on, 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 a, on, you name it, you know, you like this airport, it's kind of like a classic uh, yeah. airport where we can accommodate a big jet or small plane. In this case, you can see the 3D model of uh, your, uh, uh, of your RAS uh, uh, S21, so you know how <laughs> to move so it. Cool. Yeah, uh, I, I, you know how yeah. to move, right? I, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think, uh, yep. Very good, very good. So, very good. but oh, okay. So I hear you moving around when in. So it's like three D audio. <laughs> correct, correct. Okay, I'll yeah. come over there. The problem oh, yeah. is, uh, the the problem for uh, for me is uh, we are using gesture in order to move and pick the things, you know. And as an Italian, you know, we speak with the gesture, so I'm teleporting uh, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> So to the viewers, I want I want to be clear that um, I you know I, we didn't have a 3D model. I went to the company Rands and they they either didn't have them or weren't willing to give me the 3D model. So I yeah. I commissioned um, a, a a bright young Pakistani gentleman who's in college who 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 worked with me to design the 3D model, cool. and then and then I sent it to to Simone. I've been uh, communicating with him over email and exchanging files, and he yep. loaded in the vir virtual world. So there's a couple of. Um, I, I, I hate, I, I'm not critiquing, I'm just pointing out for my viewers who I know are eagle yes. eyes going to say, yeah. oh, that's not right, that's yeah, not yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
you know, we, we, we got it close. It'll be good enough for a paint scheme, I guess, but, but a couple of immediate things. The propeller, I only have two, two propellers. The, the cowlings are gonna be a little bit different. Um, let me, okay, there we are. And then um, the, the top of the wing is plexiglass. There's like window up there. And then I think the wing tips, I have um, aftermarket carbon wing tips. Oops. Um, that looks yep, sorry. pretty good. <laughs> sorry, you're in front of me. Um, and then I have a little, um, yeah, right, right there. I've got a little fairing right there. That's a carbon fiber. In, so, in carbon. so I just yep. wanted to address that for the viewers who are, who are saying, hey, that's not quite right. It's just because I, you know, I <laughs> worked with, with a, a young, bright gentleman and, and it was all, uh, all on me for any any sort of mistakes that, that, that ever, anybody sees. But this is so fantastic to see it live in person. We, we will fix it. We will fix it. In the oh, next, you, uh, oh, uh, in, in the future, we can fix it in the the model we will concentrate for we will focus uh, first of all on the scheme but for yeah. the final one uh, we will uh, we will fix uh, all the shape so anyway yeah. so so what else do i need to know this is all oh, you can like duck under and actually see see things and move around and uh, we use a uh, software for the for a game uh, the, the developing we can uh -huh. do whatever you want including oh. a flying simulator things so, so you can fly on this plane by the way i got uh, all uh, your pdf with your uh, uh, request because uh, uh, for the viewer i would love to say uh, we ask uh, uh, to our customer uh, what they want in term of uh, because we don't do nice paint scheme or beautiful paint scheme we do custom paint scheme for the customer so basically sure. we will integrate a lot of uh, things uh, like uh, if you like uh, for example you said you would love to have a mountain you would love to have uh, your logo and and so yeah. on and uh, yeah so we will so, we will integrate uh, all of your requests in one scheme so you you take my inspiration and then make the art out of that is what you're saying that's fantastic because correct yeah correct. It, 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 it's, a, it's a very personal thing i spent tons of hours building this thing i correct. want it to reflect me i don't want just a, a generic paint scheme you know in a previous email you said to look for inspiration to anything from shoes to art to anything so i just want to know i just threw things together so we don't have to include you know every element of everything i sent you everything of um, course of course you know course. and I'll, I'll go through but you with will my see viewers in the very first you. you will see in the first uh, uh, set of uh, scheme uh, you will see uh, things that you uh, you you asked for but then later on uh, we will dig we will dig a little bit more uh, on a on a in iteration after iteration so okay so how about yeah. i let you you um do some some initial schemes and then we'll meet back in the virtual Absolutely. world and, and discuss those i'm so excited thank Absolutely you so much yes. Mirko. let's let's talk soon <laughs> <laughs> fantastic okay we'll Ciao talk soon. Steve. Thanks. thank you very Ciao, much Mirko. for your so time nice to meet you. and for this honor. video now before we get into the first draft designs that Mirko came up with it's worth talking about his process he reached out to me and asked for any sort of kind of visual inspiration that i have whether it's you know, an, an airplane that I like, to a pair of shoes that I like, to gain a sense of my aesthetic. Share some personal details here too. Okay, so Traveler, this is my sister's surf company. She was a pro surfer and now she has a bunch of surf clubs all over California. And I really like, well, A, the logo has the sky, the mountains, the sea, three things that I love a lot. And I am, of course, a traveler like her and then but look at the north south east and west arrows in the a v e and e right so that's pretty cool and she inspires me so she's rad um i love the hawaiian islands i met my wife on maui this island right here and i like trees i just like that logo okay of course the mighty eagle here's the high-tech eagle futuristic rendering from back in the 1970s that's just iconic for us eagle drivers okay of course i love all the mountains uh, but these two pictures capture the central cascades best kind of in my backyard mount bachelor and then south sister middle sister poking out right there with the sunset in the lower one all right i don't even have any tattoos but i just like the idea of this kind of looks like a waveform i love the trees the reflection off the water that's kind of always been a cool one to me and then my first love uh, airplane wise was the lance air and that's a cool paint scheme on a lance air if you know who's that is let me know i don't love the aesthetic of this it's just a little bit too busy on this diamond so i think that's probably worth sharing what i don't like i love the look of uh, invasion stripes 
on these on these and look at this the strike eagle with some invasion stripes as a throwback so that's that's really cool and then here's a rans it's a s20 and i like the checkerboard on the tail I like the color scheme there okay here's kind of something that i came up with my wife and i actually came up with this uh i actually should give her more credit she came up with the idea of, of the lines based upon a portland trailblazers logo on a cup that we have there's my other airplane bonanza worth just sharing and then this is pretty cool i don't know if you guys know this story so this was my jet aircraft 9077 so a 79 model and the nose art i had commissioned a few years back tells a really cool story i'll tell you it really really quickly so this general stillwell he was the china burma india theater commander in world war ii vinegar joe he's my great grandfather all right my dad's middle name is stillwell my grandmother's last name uh, was still well. Claire Chenault was underneath him. There, there's a kind of an iconic picture in uh, a Pulitzer Prize winning book by Barbara Tuckman showing them shaking hands, but just looking like they just despise each other because they disagreed on the application of air power. It was a little bit immature back then. So I just love the idea of Stillwell's great grandson flying the world's greatest air cruiseman air superiority fighter. And then a buddy of mine, Rhett Chenault, Claire Chenault's uh, grand nephew, and we flew eagles together in Okinawa. And uh, there's a picture of old Pappy, as we called him. Of course, he did, died well before I was born, but we referred to him lovingly as that. China Burma India theater patch, I think, is rad. And Mirko asked for a picture of my airfield. So that is the inspiration that I passed along to Mirko. And let's see what he comes up with. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. And wow. Steve. Yes. And I did the seven different scheme. <laughs> now I see the, 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 the boy inside you, you know. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Seven schemes? Yeah. Now I show you how to change it. Can you, uh, can you watch your left hand palm? Oh, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And now you, you can see a kind of like menu. And then with the with the, the the finger the index finger of the right hand, just push the button, <gasps> and the scheme changed. Okay, let's yeah, we put that. Wow, miracle! This is so. Put amazing. this one away. Oh. Okay, seven. Let's. let's this one it's a seal. Yeah, yeah, go go. Yeah, go. let's let's look at them real quick, preview, and then we'll come back and talk about each of them. Oh, if you're okay with that. Okay. Ooh. Invasion Ooh, stripes, fighter. F-15, <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it. Ooh, there's the mountains. Oh. Ooh, and this checkers. one with the checkerboard. Yeah, that, yeah. and then some, uh, like, I don't know, wing, uh, feather wings, the red. F feathers, yeah. yeah. Okay, there are the mountains up front and center, S-21. My logo on the tail, cool, cool, cool. All right. Ooh, that is and nice. This Subtle checkerboard yeah. and then the mountains. Okay, okay. What? Yeah, basically, does... we try to integrate. Yeah, go ahead. How many? Okay, so that that was. Oh, that. Okay, so we started off with, the, with with that one. Okay, awesome. So yeah. So let's talk about each of them. Sure. Um, first of all, please judge only the scheme because uh, later on we can say, okay, we, we try a different color combination or maybe you like the tail in uh, one of uh, one version and maybe we can uh, use the, the tail of this one and the wings of the other one. So no problem. Okay. So this one uh, feature the, the mountain that you asked me and mm -hmm. then uh, your logo and please note uh, uh, this uh, uh, scheme just uh, follow the shape of the plane, so it's not a generic scheme, but uh, it's uh, tailored uh, around the. Uh, I'm following all the the winds, uh, mm. the, the 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 windscreen mm. and the, the window, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, and also here. I know we have to change uh, here because you have a big uh, window also on the top, but uh, so far, just uh, judge the. Yeah. Just just judge that the scheme itself yes then um, we have the next one this one uh, i think it's very fresh and uh, and very simple uh, but uh, again we can uh, we can do it with the red uh, and the yellow blue whatever but uh, i th i thought about you know silver and white mm -hmm. uh, just to give you also a different uh, 
uh, a different color just to, to, to see how they uh, work on, on this little plane. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, as I told you in the previous episode, of course, we can also uh, walk around the plane and the very important thing, you see the plane on the ground in the full scale in front of you. So you can judge the shape and the color not only uh, with this little guy, which is very cool when you will paint the plane because you can see every single angle and, uh, and this is very useful for this. But uh, for judging the scheme in, in full scale, you can see uh, the, the big one. Can I try so, something with number with, three. With the can Absolutely, I, cause, cause you, you I, do, it. I, do I, it. I think another cool thing would be actually, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, so am Correct. I right? And you just like Correct. pinch. Yeah. So, okay. So, so you can see it flying over and how it looks at every single aspect, like, or even make it small Correct. and go, okay, that's what it looks like against the clouds right there, not just sitting yeah, on the ground. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, okay. Correct. That, this this is, is another cool feature. I, you were talking in the previous episode about how, yeah, how, you know, I, I didn't quite understand when you said, you know, you see a paint design on paper and you can't really understand it. Correct. This is this is a whole nother level of understanding now that I can to, can see it airborne. Like this is fantastic. Yeah, you can see also, yeah. you know, landing. Uh, you, you can yeah, say, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. how it looks when I land on, on, on the I, runway and put, whatever. Yeah, you know? put it out by, the, yeah. out by the runway. Listen, it'll make it a little smaller. Like, Taxi and exactly, out, and you can off. simulate. Uh, you can see, yeah, the perspective and the size of the plane outside. Yeah. You know, so oh, that is that's so valuable. Okay, wow. Okay, okay, I'm coming back. Sorry. Okay, let's get into number what, number three here. I'll set it. Clear to land. Clear, you're clear direct to land. <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay, let's uh, set it down here. I'm, uh, I'm not the best with these. I'll let you. I'll let you manipulate that. Oh, no, pro no problem. Let's put this uh, uh, on the wings of the big plane. Let, let that. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. The, the little guy. So, uh, anyway, uh, let me put this one here and make it, make it a little bit bigger. So we can also... Where is the... Okay, found it. And, and make this uh, a little bit uh, bigger, like this. Okay, here we are. Oh, nice. So, uh, na next scheme. This one, uh, it's uh, very simple. Uh, 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 basically, we said, okay, let's try to do something like a vintage with the, this uh, feather uh, uh, in the front of the cowling, and also you have the feather here on the wings, Ooh, which is yeah. kind of like a fresh design, mm -hmm. and also on 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 the rudder, you know, on uh, the vertical stub. Yeah. Uh, and please note uh, all these little stripes uh, that uh, that start from the the nose. Uh, it become uh, here the mountain, you know. So like you know, you have like red, dark red on uh, light uh, on uh, normal red, and uh, and then you have these uh, little things because you asked yeah. me to to replicate somehow the skyline, the mountain skyline, that, not the skyline. I would say the mountain line or whatever. Yeah, the skyline. The profile of the mountains. The profile of the mountains. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you have in your in your beautiful uh, area. Yeah. And by the way, mm -hmm. uh, in the rendering that uh, you are, uh, uh, we are we are sending you a full uh, a full uh, uh, a PDF with a full rendering, okay. and the rendering are will be on your airport because we search uh, where you are. Actually, you gave me the link, and uh, Federica she did all uh, the full set of rendering at your airport. airport. Oh, okay. Well, I've got a rendering of my hangar that's being built, so maybe I should send you that, and you can put it in front of the, that, my new. Hanging. Exactly, and uh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no right. problem, no problem to do it. Next scheme, it's uh, this one. It's uh, with the. Um, oh, I, I told you I have a problem with the gesture because. Because <laughs> uh, you're Italian. <laughs> in uh, Italian, in Italian. Here, maybe I can do you it. Try Let me try. You try to change the scheme. Let's try. Uh, you, you change. There we go. Yep. Oh, okay. This of course, so cool. uh, of course, uh, Steve. This was a joke, you know. This a was joke? a joke because uh, no. I saw. What? The, the uh, no, 15? because I know, I, I know. Uh, uh, yeah, fift at fifteen. So yeah. I say, hey, why, why don't? Uh, actually, I. I, I I thought about to put uh, a real uh, F-15 Eagle here and uh, and <laughs> in the front oh, of your plane, but no time, yeah, no time because you don't we are want to see busy. me cry on, and on, in this on case, YouTube. <laughs> It'll make me <laughs> <Exactly>. emotional. <laughs> and in this case, uh, yeah, yeah. 
In this case, I decided to do the wings uh, completely white because uh, uh, with a f for a fighter having uh, a camouflage, uh, it's very important to don't be seen. But uh, for a small plane, I say, well, it's yeah. good to be seen uh, when you fly uh, uh, here, I you know, see. in you your uh, normal environment. Disappear so, but, in the traffic you know. pattern, I see, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. it's very, very easy and simple, and I don't put any uh, stars and bar because I don't want military come and say, "Hey, this is uh, this is prohibited," you know. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that's great. I love yeah. invasion stripes. Uh, you change it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, invasion stripe. By the way, uh, again, um, you you asked me uh, in the in your uh, uh, document. You said I like invasion stripes, uh, and of course. This is the most uh, obvious uh, to put the invasion stripe. But uh, if you like it, we can also try to integrate uh, in an, in a, in the previous scheme Ooh, invasion yeah. stripes as okay. well. Okay, okay, I like that. Fantastic. Okay, next one. Okay, ne next. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, this one, this one uh, you can uh, see again. Uh, uh, mountain uh, mountain uh, skyline and uh, and again this uh, vintage uh, uh, feathers yeah mm -hmm. you, 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 okay and then and then in the on the top uh, this yeah. is very uh, this is yeah correct this is very very visible uh, and uh, I think uh, yeah it's a good combination of uh, a color and some uh, some uh, little details yeah. come come here close to the cowling of the full the full scale plane here I'm here. You, you see here, for example, in case you will decide to go with this scheme or similar, mm -hmm. maybe we can put uh, a little, uh, uh, you know, little uh, silver line, uh, not only the division of the black and the red, for example, but a small silver line here in order to kind of like have a good scheme also when you walk uh, close to the plane, you know. So uh, you see a lot of details uh, that from from far away uh -huh. it's uh, difficult to see, but when you walk uh, close to the plane you see all these uh, the little uh, little details. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, because yeah, if you look okay. at it, yeah, you can't really see it from afar. Exactly, okay. exactly, you know. Okay. But uh, you say, okay, this is a nice scheme. It's a nice scheme from out, uh, from uh, far away. Mm -hmm. and, but when uh, when you walk close to the plane, you start to appreciate also sure. this uh, little. Details, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's great. Next one. Yes, please. Oh, let's go. Boop. You do it. Yep. Okay. Oh, let's. Yeah, let's this is one of my favorite. A little bit. Yeah, that is. Sure. That is beautiful. This is this is one one of my favorite because and by the way Steve think about it we can also don't use only the color but also we can use a, a special effect uh, such as a, a black uh, a mat you know flat yeah. and have and having like a checkerboard in a silver metallic you know we can we can talk about it uh, in uh, in the future but when uh, you will pick the the, the 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 scheme and the color then we can talk about special effects uh, like a chrome or uh, um, matte color, flat, uh, a gloss, uh, okay. uh, glossy or metallic or whatever you want. So, and my, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned my painter has worked with your your designs before. He's the one that painted this that Stratos jet, and uh, he he mentioned I great. mentioned him, his your name to him, and he goes, oh yeah, I've done about three or four with him, and he gives great uh, <laughs> products and stencils, so so it won't be a problem. Yeah. We can provide also uh, um, yeah vector file for the stencil or a vector file for a projector because another cool technique I will show you in the future you can project uh, uh, the scheme on a plane and then uh, tape it you know mask it uh, from just what you see you know that <laughs> so, sounds amazing I, okay. I uh, this is uh, this is one of, of my uh, of my favorite and uh, here again we have. Uh, the mountain line yeah, in the yep. silver, mm -hmm. just a little mountain line, and just the fade and in 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 nothing, you know. And and I really like your logo here. And uh, yeah, this is another this is another version. Yeah, I love that. I love. I it. think, uh, yeah, this is very. It's a very uh, good uh, uh, balance in color and uh, like it's 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 flashy, but it's also not so not so crazy, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. yeah. I really like I the, think the we swept. have the last one. 
Yeah, the, sorry. The, I like the swept um, checkerboard and subtle checkerboard. Stuck, checkerboard. Yeah. I, I think I'll have to do some checkerboard on yeah. in the final design. Okay, this is number seven. <laughs> this is the number seven and uh, is the the last one um, that uh, I did for this uh, first uh, uh, set. Okay. And uh, again, uh, this is another... Yeah, I, I, a lot of these uh, tests are uh, red, uh, black, and white because uh, you mentioned about this in the test that you did uh, yourself. So I yes. thought uh, this was your uh, favorite color combination. I do but love again, it. we can try and then yeah, we can try and do okay. other. Uh, another another thing, Steve, uh, when we will tweak uh, the, the scheme, uh, we will be uh, we will work together in order to don't uh, go too crazy in the intersection with the aileron the doors and everything yes. you know so maybe for example here i show you a very quick uh, thing you know here maybe we can move this little you know sp spike here out of here and the design it will be the same design but uh, for the painter much better much yeah, easier to he, paint he said just bring in or the, because before i'm ready um before the wings are installed, I could bring over my ailerons and flaps now, and you can paint them. Um, but if if we have a lot of in integrated lines, then of course in you fact, want them. In, in fact, you can see here, for example, the checkerboard, the, the line of the division of the checkerboard are exactly on the aileron. So uh -huh. he can he, he just you know he can sure. just paint it separately and uh, and make it uh, easy easy job for the paint shop. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, the first uh, round. Yeah. Uh, next uh, next step will be uh, uh, f uh, from you. I'm waiting from you your feedback. Okay. And say you can say Mirko, the number one I don't like. The number two I like the color, but not the scheme. I mm -hmm. like the the, the 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 checkerboard there. So or the the, the invasion stripe. Maybe we can integrate invasion stripe on this plane as well. You know. Yeah. And 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 so on. Or a, maybe uh, like a subtle thing. I, I, yeah. Absolutely, like absolutely. That that's going to be difficult, Mirko, because I love them all. I don't know. I I I. I'm, uh, so just uh, so yeah. just build the seven planes. I mean seven planes. So <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that's that's a great answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Steve, uh, yes. before to go, uh -huh. I just uh, want to tell you uh, this is a complete new way to interact uh, with the customer. You see, I'm in Italy. You are in United States, and you know it's it's like we are at the same airport uh, and walk around the plane. And by the way, this system works uh, till 30 people. So you you can ask your painter to join us uh, or uh, whatever your friend uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, we can we can we can uh, do this meeting. Uh, uh, Four, five, till thirty, uh, till thirty people in the same airport, oh, online wow. and without any additional cost. So okay. it's a, it's a game changing that in is. a paint scheme design in yeah. general. And uh, it's yeah. the future. It's the future, not just paint scheme designing. No, 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 no. It's it's, uh, it's, or... the, it's the present. Well, yeah. Uh, actually, it's the present because <laughs> we are we are uh, we're doing it. <laughs> doing we're doing it. Right it. Now. I like it. Good point. Good point. <laughs> Yeah. Wow! Well. Future will be something. Uh, we already know what to do the next step. Uh, so Is there plane yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a P fifty one. Where, where? Is it really? It's just the sound, oh, you know. Just the sound. No, no, it's just oh, the, it's just the, the sound. It's so funny, you know. Anyway, I'm sorry, I Steve. think I interrupted you. Yes, sir. Absolutely no, no problem. So thank you very much for this. Do you have any question first of all about? Uh, thank you. Um. I don't think so. I need to. This is a lot to take in. I want to review all of these, and um, I'll start taking some notes, and I will give you the feedback. So I, I believe that's our next step. Absolutely yes. Okay. Thank you very much again, and uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, to see the progression of uh, oh, also too. on your panel. Or yeah. I, I, you show me a lot of uh, wiring things. Yeah. Uh, oh my God! It's, it's, Good luck. It's, I need it. I need it. It's a lot of fun. It's my passion. But, but thank you so much. This was wonderful, and I cannot wait to see what we come up with next. What you come up with next? So, are we saluting? Yep. <laughs> yep. Thank you, sir. This was so fun. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Bye. This is got to be one of my favorite videos to make because 
the cherry on top is it gets to be interactive. I am looking for your guys' opinions and thoughts. Of course, I'm going to own the decision. Me and my family on figuring out which livery. And, 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 and we're not going to just pick a livery. We're going to pick elements of each livery, and he's going to do some more designs. So this is the design one. So anyway, so in the comments, let me know your thoughts on each of these. We're going to go step through them real quick, one by one. This is the first one. And this is a, such a cool, personalized portfolio that he gives you with each of these designs so you can not only get immersed in the virtual reality world, but you can also share these with friends and family and get their, their feedback, kind of like I'm doing. And look where he put the, the, the rants. Look at that. It's right in between um, Broken Top and South Sister right there, uh, just north of Mount Bachelor. So that is pretty special. So this one, we've got the mountains on the nose, got the, the colors that I like, um, got a little bit of the checkerboard, got the the uh, tail number in there the model number has 21 okay let's go to number two checkerboard subdued up front behind a rand's logo and look at that they got the reflection off the bottom of the wing i like the lines that kind of follow the the door and the window right there makes a little uh little speed right there with some mountains kind of looks like smith rock right there there it is on the ground. Number three. Okay, no red. So this is just a, a gray and black. We can add red as we as we desire. But okay, so cool checkerboard, both on the wingtips and the tail. The retro Rans logo wrapped around the tail. Really cool. Let's just skip all the way to the bottom because to see what else you get. This has got to be so helpful for painters. He'll also produ uh, produce the vector artwork so that the painters can print uh, stencils and everything they need to produce this okay so this this harkens to so so a little bit of the rams logo with the the stripes up there more stripes right here i really like the elements of the the tapered stripes up there got the mountains red and black pops i love it okay this one i think he said he was joking about this but how cool is this this has got the same uh, f-15 kind of shark camo as well as those gorgeous invasion stripes so he said he, he, he was going to do this. He was going to have an F-15 on the ramp with us uh, also, but uh, just didn't have time to make that happen. So uh, that was really cool, really special. I sure appreciate uh, his attention and enthusiasm. I mean, this, you know, small time YouTuber guy coming to him and he's just, just so enthusiastic. So thanks, Mirko and your team. It's awesome. Okay, so here's another one with the red and black really pops. This is the first time I'm noticing this uh, red stripe amongst the white background right there, which I really like, and then a gray accent before the black. A little bit darker of a red up there. Still some mountains. And finally, number seven. This one has some gray checker uh, checkerboard and kind of leaning forward, showing kind of some speed up there, and then reflected also on the tail and the wingtips. With that, uh, the red stripes on the wingtips. Let's see what the bottom looks like, how that wraps around the cowling. Super cool. Here's the top. Again, there's going to be plexiglass on top. We'll probably get that fixed in the next round, but I am so excited. So give me your comments below. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Watch my other build videos. Subscribe to make sure that you're notified when episode two comes up to see what amazing design Miracle and his team comes up with. Until next time, you're cleared to rest.